uh, Michael's girlfriend is heating up. What do you know? Only what I read in the paper. Look, right here. Big as life, complete with a mug shot. That Abby is some looker, huh? Of course she'd have to be. Who wants to watch an ugly stripper? The point is, Miss uh, Haver is in a lot of trouble, which makes Michael vulnerable. So he would swoop in and take advantage of his pain. Oh, you are so lucky. I'm back to school, you. <laughs> This business is not only about applying muscle, you know. Psychology is involved. You have to think about the players, what drives them. Michael is a means to an end. It's Sonny and Jason who'll be vulnerable. They dote on that kid. You were tired. I'm running things now. If I want your input, I'll ask for it. I can't give you the benefit of my experience? Just focus on your flowers, all right? I'll handle Michael. Trying to help out should not be a punishable offense, John. I have a truce with Sonny and Jason. The last thing I need is you rocking the boat. Is that so? Are you forgetting who built the organization you're now running? The roof over your head you owe to me. The least you could do is build me a greenhouse somewhere where I could visit in the afternoons. I'm warning you, Pop. Don't sabotage me. Don't sabotage me? Here's what you need to remember, John. There's no such thing as a truce with Sonny Corinthos. We are at constant war with him and his entire organization. And whether you like it or not, I am going to give you the tools you need to win. Hey, Michael's not out with me, so you don't have to put on a friendly face. Just tell me the truth. Can you give me that much? I'll do whatever I can for you. I did not kill Brandon, but someone went to a lot of trouble to make it look like I did. Was it you? No. I, I promise. I've never had anything but good intent for you and Michael. I genuinely like you both. You have no idea how to find this hit woman? I may have one person who knows. Will you ask? Yeah. And while I'm at it, if I can expose this woman and whoever hired her, I'll do that too. It's good to meet under improved conditions. Last time I saw you, we were in Pentonville together. It's nice to be out of that rat hole, huh? <laughs> Though I have to say, they made a few improvements since your release. Shower head upgrades. Food still sucks, though. Not enough fresh veggies. I'm gonna stop you right there. I don't wanna talk about Pentonville. I don't wanna talk to you either. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're afraid of me, and there's no need to be, Michael. I mean you no harm. In fact, I owe you a debt of gratitude. Why is that? Well, you managed to accomplish what I've been trying to do for years. You put my bitch of a daughter six feet under. There's nothing worse than an ungrateful, treacherous child. So thank you for eliminating the problem. And that brings me back to that debt. Is there anything at all that I can do for you? Don't be so hasty. I may not have as much power as I used to, but the old man can still pull a few strings. I know people, Michael. Contacts are everything. Do you know about hiring independent contractors? <laughs> you want to have somebody whacked? <clears throat> I'm looking for someone who may have taken a job recently. Hey, Anthony. Stay away from my son or I'll rip your heart out. Love, 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 boom. Where have you been all my life? I don't know why I'm talking to you about this. I mean, maybe 